What's going on guys, Anthony from Simple Tech Talk here, where I help you get the most out of your Android device. And you know all the rest, and I'm just really excited, so I'm gonna get right into it. We're talking about Nova Launcher today. Nova Launcher. So now this is actually what inspired this whole YouTube channel was Nova Launcher, was being able to customize everything about your phone. Doesn't matter what kind of phone you have, whether it's LG, HTC, Huawei, Mate 9, it doesn't matter. Nova Launcher will allow you to really personalize every aspect of what you interact with on your phone. It's gonna be the most coolest thing you're able to do on your device. It doesn't matter what you got, how old it is, it's going to work and it's going to be really, really fun. So I can't wait to get into that. I'm totally geeking out right now. And uh, just, just pay attention, you, you'll see, you'll see, get into it. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna get going is downloading Nova Launcher. Now what's really cool about this, you've gotta download Nova Launcher Prime. You can download regular Nova Launcher, which is the free version, but uh, Nova Launcher Prime will actually get you a bit more functionality, it'll give you more options, especially considering that uh, you wanna really maximize customization when we're using this. So once you got that going, uh, it says thank you for purchasing Nova Launcher Prime. We've got both of them installed. And now uh, you can actually hit your launcher button, but I want to show you the standard way to get in there. So we'll just go real quick into the basic home screen. So what you want to do is go down into your settings. And from here, you're going to go down into applications, open up default applications, and then go into your home screen options. And there's Nova Launcher. It's going to say press home key to apply the new default. We press the home button, which is the bottom center button. And there you are. Welcome to Nova. So we're just going to skip all of these things. This is going to let us know a few things. And that is your new home screen through Nova. So Nova now has this new Google look, this new feel, right? So you're going to have, uh, you're going to see down here, these three dots, it's going to show you, you have different home screens. Now, one of the most basic things that I do when it comes to customization, I kind of clear out things that I don't want. So we'll get rid of the left and right screen. So we'll press and hold on it. We're going to say remove. It's going to get rid of that. And on this one, we're just going to press and hold on a blank spot on the screen and then uh, it's gonna zoom out for our customization look. And then we can grab on this page and just drag it up to the trash can, leaving us with one home screen. Now, we're ready to play around. So you can see you've got your search bar up top. We've got a couple of apps. One of them is a actual folder, and this is the actual app for your drive through Google. Now the very bottom, you'll see that, oops, you'll see the very bottom, you'll see that you have your apps drawer, and this is where all your applications will be. Hit your back button. And now we can have some fun. So one of the first things I wanna show you in terms of customization is your screen grid size. So you're gonna press and hold on your screen, and now you're gonna see a few familiar options, but one new one, which is settings. So with that settings button, it's actually not the phone setting, it's settings for Nova. And this is where you see you've got a lot of options, a lot of options. So with the very basic thing that I wanna teach you today is your desktop. And the most basic thing within that is desktop grid. So now in your standard phones, usually they are going to have an option layout for 4x4, four 5x5, four, five five. and all that means is these numbers here, when you start moving them around, you're going to see different uh, shapes, or sorry, different grid sizes, and these squares represent your icons of your apps, and it's going to change the sizes of them, and see that? So one of the ones I like to do typically is like a 9x5 or even an 8x5 is good. I usually like to leave an odd number in the middle here on the bottom so that way down the center, if you're symmetrical when designing your uh, home screen, you'll be able to put applications directly in the middle of your screen without worrying about what is middle. Hit done. And we're going to go right back and now we're going to see that everything's kind of moved around because we've changed our grid size. So in order to kind of readjust everything, we can grab by pressing and holding and drag down to where we want those apps to be, even our search bar. It's actually gonna give us some options of resize. And this gives you a lot more freedom with resizing. This is actually really um, where you get, get the, the, the different feel for it. We can even make it very little and leave it right up top. And we're gonna go into more of those uh, Google search bar options in another video. But here we are with our Google folder 
that's going to show some of our basic applications through Google that most of us use. So now one of the customization aspects of this is where I really start geeking out, having a good time. So um, let's see our first and foremost thing, right? We want to bring out some of our applications that matter to us the most, right? So some of us love our um, what's the word I'm looking for our social media, right? So we're going to get out our Instagram and um, let's see, where is that Twitter? Right. So what we're going to do, take it out there. And now we have our standard Instagram and Twitter, and that's fun. But how can we spice this up? How can we go a little further with this? Right. So what we're going to do is going to press on hold again. and We're going to go into settings. Now we go into desktop and the next set, uh, section down icon layout. I'm going to open that up. And now, depending on your, your grid size, you can increase the size. You can shrink your apps. You can see how they're adjusting. Depending on your grid, grid size, you can only go so far. What we can actually do down here is turn off our label uh, options. If you know what your apps look like, like Twitter and Instagram, you don't need the labels, right? So we don't need to bog our screen down with labels. But if we do, what's really cool about that, we can change the size of those labels. Maybe you have vision issues, things like that. That's what you want to do. You can even go as far as changing the color. Check that out, right? So we'll leave it at basic white, no problem. And we're actually going to turn it off for the moment. So it's really cool. We go back and now we can see that our icons don't have any labels because we know that this is Instagram and this is Twitter. Let's go a step further. One thing you can definitely do is download um, an icon pack. So I went ahead and um, downloaded this one called Delta Icon Pack. Look this up. This is actually a really nice, clean, smooth icon pack. And the way you take advantage of icon packs is you press and hold on any application and you tap on the edit option and then you just touch on the photo of the icon and there goes Delta. We can tap on that and the very top you're going to see what Delta calls the Instagram Instagram app and that's what it's going to look like. But the beauty of this is we can change it to any one of these application icons and they are in alphabetical order. Really cool, really nice way to get that all customized again this is all about customization and we can do that and what i think is really awesome i love this little octopus so we're going to change our instagram app to the octopus so now one of the things we can do is yes it's an octopus it's not instagram but if you know what you've done you don't need the icon label but check this out we're going to go a step further and we're going to bring this on top of there creating a folder now this is not terrible right it's, it's really silly um we're actually going to go back and go to edit and we'll change this back uh, label should look like right and we'll go to the common one so we'll make it look like instagram again just for uh, the tutorial purposes but what we can do is go even further on the icon of the folder that we just created and edit that one and you see it still has the layout you see uh, twitter behind instagram we can touch on there and now we go even further and we can design it to do uh, to look like anything we would like it to right so we can go through and Let's get a little cheeky with it. There's a little, uh, a little Android guy. Now this is a lot of fun because now if we touch it, uh, we get our folder. This is awesome. And then of course we're going to see some options. But what we can do is go a step further and tap on edit one more time. And you see it has the option to swipe to open the folder. And once we do that, tap to action says first item in the folder. Now this is what's awesome. So once we tap it, it's going to open up my Instagram. That's fine. Well, if you touch and swipe up, it's going to open up the hidden folder now. But to go even further, press and hold one more time, press edit. We can change what the first item in the folder is, or sorry, we can change what the tap action is by touching here and we get some options. So right away, we can open up something else, another application if we chose a shortcut if we wanted. Um, and it gets so customizable this way. It's a lot of fun. So another thing that we can do, and I'll, I'll just do this really fast. We can open up our gallery or bring our gallery app into our screen, right? So we'll do that. We'll bring in our gallery app and we can start going crazy with customizing. So what we can do here, this is one of my fun things to do. So that's our gallery and that's fine. That's great. But um, instead of just customizing what the look of it is going to be, we're actually going to customize um, swipe action. We go here and we can open up our camera, right? So what we're going to do with that camera is, I'm sorry, with that application, now that we've got it set up, we're able to um, 
if I can figure out the word, we're able to touch it and it's gonna open up our regular gallery of photos and things of that nature, right? But if we swipe up on it, it's gonna open up our camera. Yay, little feet, right? So we can do that without any worry. We can do that really quickly, really smooth. And again, now we're creating shortcuts, we're creating hidden folders, and as you see here, we have a regular folder, but it's not matching up, right? So let's let's go a little further and let's start changing this one up, right? So we can go into Delta, and we can go through some of these guys, and we can just, again, personalize it. You know what? Let's do something like that. That looks pretty cool. So you see here, now we can really start going to town and, and customizing how we're making our phone work for us. So we've got our social media here. We've got our Google. Um, sorry. Look at that. See, it's still a folder. It's not. It doesn't have an action. So let's go into edit and let's swipe that. Um, I don't know. Let's. I don't know what we want to make this one. So that's our Google folder. We'll do that and we'll change the first item to, let's say, uh, just open up YouTube. I don't know. Why not? So done. So now we can swipe it up. It's going to open up all of these options. But if we want to go straight to YouTube, we can go right to YouTube. Pretty cool stuff, right, guys? Not bad at all. And that's just a quick way we can do some customization to our uh, icons and our apps themselves and start making hidden folders and having shortcuts just by touching and swiping. And I really hope you guys enjoy what I've done for you and can't wait to help you out on the next, um, the next video. Everybody loves a juice box, what? Don't judge. All right guys, so that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that video. I know I did making it for you like I always do to be very honest. Um, that's only step one of Nova Launcher. So we're gonna go into a few more videos. So I definitely recommend that you subscribe and you hit that little bell button so you can keep up with the new notifications as soon as I make a new one about Nova. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Back to the juice box.